Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And today I am excited to share with you at long last the Winter Heavenly Blue box, which has been sent to me for review. Now, if you're not familiar, Heavenly Blue is a new-ish, I think they're still in their first year, quarterly lifestyle box for women. It is a one woman show at the moment. She's just getting started out, but I have really been impressed so far, not only with the value, the number of items that we receive in every box, but also that she allows for customization both for seasonal subscribers and annual subscribers which is more than I can say for some more established larger even funded companies that don't necessarily allow for customization so I do think that's really impressive now she reached out to me a few weeks ago when I got to customize this box that I'm going to share with you and she said the reason for the delay on this winter box is unfortunately she had just gotten really really ill and I'm sure that she let her subscribers know as well but I am glad to hear that she is back on her feet and let's be honest we can be a little bit patient with our winter boxes technically the beginning of spring was just pretty much just last week so it's totally fine and if you see items in this box you think you might be compelled to finally subscribe to Heavenly Blue I know that it would really help her kind of get back on track and hopefully get those spring boxes out the door on time as well so there is still time to get this winter box out I believe but I will definitely leave all of the details for you in the description box below but let me go ahead and tell you about them as well so the box is $54.95 per quarter and if you are a seasonal subscriber you get to customize five products and I believe there's usually like six to eight products so you're still getting to customize quite a bit if you go ahead and do the annual subscription it's $199.80 so you are saving a little bit per quarter and then you get to customize the entire box so there are categories there's usually just two to three choices in those categories sometimes there's maybe one item like in the electronics where there's not even a choice but you do get to customize if there is a category with a few different options now there are one-time boxes as well so like I said if you see this winter box and you're like I would love to get just just this box and try it out you can definitely do that at $64.99 and you do get to customize the entire box because it's a little bit more than if you do the subscription and I do still have a code for you it's not my personal code it's just a code that's going to save you $10. It is Heavenly Blue, and they're spelling blue the French way, so B-L-E-U, and uh, 10. So Heavenly Blue 10 will save you $10, but don't worry, that'll all be down there for you. And by the way, you guys, the shipping in the U.S. is free, so that's pretty awesome too. All right. So the blue, or bleu, if you want to say it the French way, stands for Beautiful Ladies Empowerment Unity. So I love that. I think that's awesome. And we can all be beautiful ladies practicing some patience. In fact, let's have patience be our secret password for today. So if you're newer to my channel, we do this fun thing where if you come across a secret password in one of my videos, you want to enter it along with your contact information in the Google form, also linked for you in the description box below. Then at the end of the month, I go through and I use a random a number picker to select a few winners to receive a mystery box as my way of saying thank you so much for watching my videos you do have to be 18 years or older subscribe to my channel not necessarily publicly I can confirm that with you via email and you do have to have a US mailing address for the mystery boxes Canadians you can still definitely enter but right now I'm just gonna do gift cards for you until I kind of figure out the uh, custom situation when I am shipping boxes to Canada all right so inside there was a little jostling happening which you guys if you've been watching Watching my channel for any amount of time you know is not a surprise because things always come kind of crazy in my postal service it's all of them too it's not just USPS it's FedEx it's uh, UPS DHL all of them sometimes my boxes look like they have gone through a tornado or something so uh, but then I don't feel as bad about ripping the tissue paper if it's already a little bit torn, right? So she does do a nice little booklet for us that shows us some of the items. And then she does tell us the MSRPs as well as the different categories. So I will try to tell you what the options were in each category as well as read the description of the items that I chose as they came along. So I do think it's really fun that she always includes like an electronic gadget. Sometimes they've been really cool items that I'm just not like technically savvy enough to use. Like there was kind of a little robot that would follow you around with your camera which I, I even as a content creator I, I haven't figured out a reason to use that yet but this is something that I think everyone can use you don't have to be a content creator for the masses it could just be your own personal content this is called the shift cam it's a snap or shift cam is actually the brand and it's called a snap grip so it's something that you can attach to your phone that makes it easier to hold on to and actually use it as a camera because 
I am still an old school person and I have a point and shoot camera that I take with me almost everywhere, but I have been using my, my iPhone a lot more for things. But this is great because it really makes it, look, this is like almost like a book. It shows you how to use it. So this has a value of $69.99. So right there, you guys, is the value of the box in this single item. I was going to see if I could get my X-Acto knife to pull it out. So I think it just snaps into place. And again, it has that nice kind of grippy area, just like a regular point and shoot camera would have. Uh, good thing this is one of those ceramic blades because I am terrible about always uh, putting my fingers in the way of things. But I don't know if I'll be able to. These, these tech boxes, you guys, always have like the hardest boxes to open. Um, they always have all kinds of special tabs and things that I can't get into. So it says shoot anytime, anywhere. Always be prepared to shoot. No more awkward hand positions. Grip to shoot with comfort. Mobile battery grip with wireless shutter button. Magnetic mount snaps onto any phone. Built-in power bank with wireless charging. I love that tabletop dock and it does come in midnight black, which I love that we got it in just a simple black. You know, I'm like, can people do more black and white in boxes versus like pink and seafoam green, even though I like that too. So it does uh, have the instructions, which I will have to read because you know, I'm not like technically savvy. It does have these uh, little sticky grips. So I don't know if you have to have it like permanently attached to your phone, which that doesn't make me super happy because this is something I'd like to be able to just like snap on and off for sometimes when I'm using my phone as a, as a camera and sometimes be able to take it off. It has one of those little reset pins, which those are really handy to have too. So it looks like this is an extra one. It's just glued onto it, but I think you just glue this on to the back of your, so here's the sticky and that was like a spare one. So you glue that onto your phone so you can hold onto it and then it's easy to take your pictures. So it is uh, without, you don't, does have the USB for you to charge it, but like they said, you can also put it on a charging pad if you happen to have one of those. So I'm gonna have to look into it a little bit more because like I said, I don't want it to be like a permanent thing, like a pop socket. Not that those are permanent, but you know what I mean? Like I would love it if it was something that could just snap on and off of my phone without me having to take the little sticky thing off. But I guess I could just put the sticky thing on one of my camera cases and have that be my designated camera grip phone case. That's what it is. Don't stick it directly to your phone, stick it onto a phone case, and then you can kind of go back and forth. So maybe one of those more rubbery ones that's easy to get on and off, because some of those phone cases are really hard to get off. Have you guys noticed that? They're like the hard cases. Sometimes I feel like I'm gonna break my phone. All right, you guys, so that was our electronic category. I always love the little little foam um, flower that she includes. That was a category where there were no options. Everybody gets that, but great value. All right, this was kind of fun because she did have a candle accessory category. So you could have either gotten this handmade mirror, so it was like a little platform, it was like a big coaster for a candle, which is always a good idea, and it kind of creates more light in your home. I opted for this flameless USB rechargeable candle lighter because I love me some matches. I always think it's good to have matches in your home, but I liked this idea, so this is kind of a tech gadget too. It says, this long lighter is perfect for lighting our luxury candle spoiler alert, since it can be it reach the wick as it burns over time. This long lighter is flameless and can be charged via USB. I feel like everything has a charger these days. It says butane free built in lithium, lithium battery. This arc lighter is charged by power bank, computer, cart or socket. It says there are also child safety precautions such as a safety lock. And if the spark is not used in seven seconds, it will go off. So it's not just going to be a, like a flame that stays burning. That's cool. It says this is flameless plasma technology. So the spark can withstand and strong winds and humid conditions. That's awesome for if you're lighting like, I don't know, if you can use it to light a barbecue. Yes, you can use it for your gas stove, barbecue grill, fireworks, camping, indoor and outdoor activities. All right, so that's cool. So there's like a little spark that goes between those two ends and that's how you can light your candle. And I guess you just go right over the wick with that little hole there. This is really cool, you guys. I don't know if it's charged. Oh, so there's, it's got the lights there, but I don't know if they charged it, so. I'm not sure how you use it and get it to go, but uh, I will have to check in with that. I thought there was gonna be like a flame and I was a little bit worried about that. So it's the arc pulse, there's a hook on the end. And then I have to just like read up on how you actually get it to light a candle. But I just think that concept is really, really neat. So I'll have to figure it out. Hmm. So it looks like it's fully charged, but maybe those that's what's telling me that it needs to be charged first, which is probably fine. 
All right, so the next category that I'm pulling out, there is like a really big box in here, you guys, that I'm kind of like waiting for the end to pull out just because I want to get to all of the items around it first so that I don't have anything fall on the ground. So we did have a bath and body care category and there were actually three options in this one. So there was a chocolate wine face mask, which sounds amazing. I mean, I love chocolate. I love wine. I like face masks. And then there was also an herbal hair rinse. Ooh, I don't even remember seeing that but that sounds nice sounds like your hair's gonna smell like you just had it washed at the salon um, I went for because I almost always go for if there's a body butter or a lotion option that's what I'm gonna get so that is what I got so this is the wild orchid and amber luxury body butter lotion so body butter and lotion it says vegan and all-natural body moisturizer made with key ingredients such as shea butter and the purest plant-based nourishing and vitamin rich oils fast absorbing leaving your skin feeling moisturized without the greasy feel it has a value of $14 so it looks like it's uh it says cruelty and vegan friendly it has a little bunny but it doesn't have like the leaping bunny uh certified but i'm guessing that's what they're kind of getting at by the way you guys the msrp on that flameless usb rechargeable candle lighter was 20 dollars, and the value on this four fluid ounce um wild orchid and amber doesn't that sound good this lotion is 14 dollars. now there were higher i'm gonna go ahead and smell it and put it on my hand um because i'm holding on to this because you guys know i love my lotions it's very thick, so I can see why they're calling it a body butter too. Oh, that smells really good. I'm definitely smelling the wild orchid scent, which I honestly didn't know that like orchids had a scent until I started seeing wild orchid in body uh, care as well as candles, but whatever that scent is, it smells good. My orchids never smell like that. Um, but the highest valued item in this category was actually the chocolate wine face mask at $35, but you know, don't choose based on just MSRP. Choose on the items that you are going to use. All right. We also, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's the candle. <laughs> so it came, but without the lid on it, which is surprising. I'm surprised they uh, put it in there, but it does kind of look pretty if you don't have it like rocked around in your box like mine would be. So this is our winter solstice candle. So again, we are practicing patience. Remember, that's our secret password. Uh, so winter solstice, it says this has a value of $25. This is actually in the home decor category. So, uh, but one of the reasons we had a candle accessible category the other option was the elegant jewelry storage bowl which I think was one of the first spoilers that she had over on Instagram it just looked like a ceramic bowl with like a bunch of holes around the edge for your earrings what have you and it just wasn't really like my personal style I will show it to you guys in just a second but I'm trying to make not too much of a mess with my candle because it did get all over so it's just like a bowl that had a bunch of like holes going around the edge where you could hang things off of so it actually the candle showed up with the lid off just like it was shown there so this is the winter solstice candle but it's kind of fun because it's got like it's got like a green stone in it that definitely has some wax all over it and then you can see there's some cinnamon there's this uh pretty like crescent moon pendant it is actually a pendant which will eventually come out as you start to burn it mine kind of fell over it says the cold weather is upon us hopefully you're starting to get out of that cold weather you guys it says encosing up by the fireplace with the smells of cocoa and peppermint swirling through the air meets you as you light this candle breathe it in let it hold you and relax your mind spiritually peppermint raises your vibration and dispels negative energetic patterns while the aroma triggers mental clarity and prophetic visions the green aventurine crystal is a comforter and heart healer that helps to clear and reinforce the emotional body and heart chakra infused with reiki energy and made with intention so it's a very special intentional candle with a value of 25 dollars, and that was pretty much the value on the elegant jewelry bowl too so that's where it was supposed to go so i'll just give this a little burn once i figure out how to use that lighter and i'm sure it will look very very nice after i get rid of some of those uh kind of uh flakes Still making a mess even though i'm trying to do this as carefully as possible but we still have a few more items to go you guys i don't know if i'm gonna get through this in time so let's see i did get i think this is a mascara let me just double check so the next item was our beauty category where you could have gotten a shades by shells glitz and glam brush set or this parish 14 black mascara so i think this is the one that's from a different brand and she did actually warn me about that so um this is kind of fine it fun it's a uh, kim jarrett beauty which i've actually heard of so i won't read you all of the details about it because i do think it's a slightly different brand but it's just your basic black mascara uh the value on the parish 14 one was 28 and on this kim jarrett 
beauty one it is 28. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what the value is but I'm guessing that it's comparable. <laughs> wow that was funny. All right so then our body care category we had two options. We had a wrap me in cashmere vegan sugar body scrub i need to get my scissors out for this because it's all wrapped up in this bundle um, and that had a value of twenty dollars i don't think that's what i chose just because i honestly as as much as i love the idea of them i'm really bad about using body scrubs so i think i went for the other option and i'm, I'm hoping that's what i'm unwrapping and that the other option isn't the thing that's in the giant box it could be but i don't remember what's in the giant box so I'm trying to get into it. You're getting all the ASMR. Here we go. All right. So this is the whipped face butter. So we did get our body butter and then we got this whipped face butter. But look at the lovely wood jar, wood lid glass jar. So it says organic plant-based moisturizer to hydrate skin for a natural dewy glow. This soothing blend is formulated with over 50% aloe selected as the primary ingredient to nourish skin with light and clean moisture whipped with raw shea butter to smooth imperfections and raw honey to protect against bacteria. And the value on this was $20. So I think that's pretty good. Uh, the value on both of our body care categories was $20. So that's nice that there wasn't too much of a deviation. And then finally, we've got this nice big uh, box here and I'm trying to like I said remember what it is so this might actually she might have sent me the jewelry bowl as well which is cool because I can definitely share it with someone else and honestly you guys know I have so many earrings that it might be a nice thing to have so it's actually a beautiful color um, now when I saw it as a spoiler I'm just trying to get some of the styrofoam off of it when I saw it as a spoiler over on Instagram it kind of looked like plasticky to me but it's actually a really beautiful blue ceramic glaze so ceramic with a blue glaze i'm trying to get all the styrofoam off you guys it looks like it's snowing on my lap right now so here it is isn't that a pretty color so she actually sent me an extra from the home decor category we wound up with the candle as well as the bowl which is so appreciated again this has a value of 25.94 this beautiful jewelry bowl is perfect for home making your earrings a real focal point around the house designed with a graceful shiny stoneware hook your favorite pairs of earrings into the holes along the circumference of this elegant jewelry holder the elegant is Design combined with the sheer amount of storage space makes this a necessity for any woman who care about her accessories. This can be used as a makeup bowl as well. So you could put all kinds of things. You can just have your earrings along the edge. You could put like bracelets, bangles, bigger items on the inside of here. You could put potpourri on the inside. You could probably honestly even put like a little pillar candle in there so that it just like looked more like home decor and it just happens to have your jewelry around the outside. So that's kind of cool. Now we did get an extra item as well. This is the bonus surprise gift for annual members. Very handmade. It's uh, actually got their logo in the center of it, which I do find a little strange. Actually, I think this is the underside. So it's Shades by Shells. So it's a resin piece. It almost looks like an ornament, right? Lots of glitter, but I think you use this side and the idea is that it's like a makeup palette. Now I've gotten other resin pieces kind of where it's supposed to look almost like a geode like this. Oh, it's like about my eye going right through there. That wasn't intentional. Um, where it was like a wine glass holder that you would put on a bottle. I'm honestly a little bit over the like resin thing. I think it's kind of a cool craft to learn how to do, but I honestly just don't wind up using these items because they are tend to be very glittery and this is very pink. It says if you're looking for a quant for quantity control when using your products, this is for you. Instead of using your bare hands to pour out foundation or concealer, now you can use your resin beauty tray. So that's what it's being marketed as, a resin beauty tray. You can use this to blend foundation concealers as well as the limit the amount you put on versus putting it directly onto your face and then trying to blend from one blotch on your face. The tray can also be used for loose glitters, glitter glue, and liquid eyeshadows. It's a major game changer and it does have a value of $15. So because this is an item that's just like an extra, I don't mind it at all. It's not something I will probably use because I don't do a lot of like beauty, like uh, makeup mixing myself. I guess you could also use it if you are someone who's good about mixing your own masks because you could kind of create that paste and texture that you want on there. But you could use it for all kinds of things. You could probably actually use it as a little mini uh, travel paint palette as well well because it's going to be really easy to clean off because it is that resin 
not my personal style, not like my personal like use, but I'm sure that one of you would enjoy it. So I will probably share it with one of you in a future mystery box. But let's just go over. Let me see if I can count up all of the items, all of the categories. So everyone got the shift cam snap grip, which again, I'm hoping I don't have to glue on there and I can just snap it on there. And then there was the beauty category where you could have gotten the mascara or the brush set. There was the body care category where you could have gotten the whipped face butter, which was what I got, or the vegan sugar body scrub. There was the candle accessory category where you could have gotten the little tray or the flameless rechargeable candle lighter. We know what I got. There was the home decor category where you could have gotten that beautiful storage, a jewelry storage bowl or the winter solstice candle. I was lucky enough to get both of those. Um, there was the bath and body care category which had the wild orchid and amber luxury body butter lotion, the chocolate wine face mask or the herbal hair rinse. And then finally there was the extra gift for annual members. So if you're a seasonal or an annual member you got a base six products and then if you're an annual member you also not only got to customize everything but you also got this extra resin beauty tray or palette so you guys let me know what you thought about this box some really good items I thought some really good options and again if you want to help out a small business and support her help her get back on track to get that next spring box out I'm sure she would appreciate your support I'll leave all the details for you in the description box below and I'll see you all very very soon in my next unboxing